things like depression frustration anger or ne- not new phenomena at all they have always existed with mankind particularly with children but earlier the coping mechanisms were different the way children were brought up was very different because their mother will be at home grandparents will be at home there is lo- there were lots of avenues for guidance support if the mother is beating the child the child will go and take refuge with the grandparents they'll pamper the child and make the child feel normal but nowadays nothing like that happens if the child is disappointed if the child is angry frustrated either the child carries in his mind or goes and shares with parents who are very tired at the end of the day who don't have much emotional energy to deal with such so they kind of superficially deal with it this leads to lots of inbuilt frustrations which results in anger in the school also certain behaviors like playing wild video games violent video games reflects in anger in the classroom watching movies which are very aggressive even wwf kind of nurtures the aggression in the children and brings it out in real life situation because they take aggression as a kind of heroism and indulge in violent behavior so any child looking at the movie will think that i need to be very assertive and aggressive to be a hero so all these things contribute to child's frustration emotions of the child depends on how he or she was brought up take for example if a child is not eating the mother is cajoling the child grandparents get involved in the process maid get involved in some houses you see about four or five people pampering the child and trying to feed the child the child being the center of attention for various things and also you will notice when a child says i don't want idli today immediately people are frantically trying to please the child by asking the child what is it you want and they make it and serve it on the table sometimes purposefully some children irrespective of what you keep they'll say i want this just for attention seeking which the parents cater once they go to school they have to perform their responsibilities which they have not been doing so for the last 3 years 5 years the child is expected to do lots of things independently which the child is not used to because five people were doing what the child was supposed to be doing this forms the breeding ground for various disappointments and frustrations the way a child is being fed reflects on the child's emotional management if the child throws tantrums then the mother backs off the child learns that if i throw tantrum the parents will back off i'll be excused from my responsibility so lots of things depends not on the child but on the parents and the circumstances in which a child is being brought up